So we're going to start seated in the center of the chair, meaning don't go all the way, you know, back. Sit tall, your shoulders over your hips. Engage your core very, very gently. Close your eyes. And just go to your breath. Focus on your breath. Follow your breath. Just inhale and exhale through your nose. I don't know what they did. So very gently, we're gonna practice something that you can do in what's called walking meditation. But we're gonna do it seated and we're gonna use our imagination. So I want you as you continue with your breath, as you continue inhaling and exhaling through your nose, to go to a place that you really enjoy or maybe your favorite place. The only thing, it has to be an outdoor place. So keep your eyes closed, keep breathing, and just travel with your imagination to your favorite place. So when you're walking to do this meditation, what you do, of course, you walk with your eyes open. You do it in real life. We're gonna, again, use our imagination for this one. So you're in that favorite place of yours. So just start looking and point and name things that you see. So let's say you're at the beach. So I'm walking and I see the ocean. I see the sand. So just focus on the things you see. Keep breathing. So it's just you, your breath in that place just looking at the things that make this place so special. And now we're gonna start using our sense of smell. So if I'm at the beach, you know, you can smell the ocean, you know, like if it's a hot day, the sun has that kind of, you know, smell in your skin that is like beautiful. So anywhere you are, check what you're smelling. Keep breathing. And really try to be there, try to be in that place. And very slowly, let's start touching things and see how they feel to our hands, to our fingers. So again, if I'm at the beach, I will touch the sand and the different, you know, textures of the sand, the sand that's, you know, away from the water, the sand that's in the water, feel the texture. I'll touch the water, so anywhere you are, you decide what you want to touch. A 
And now, let's hear things. Let's see, you know, if you hear birds or different sounds. And keep your breath going. if there is any taste that you can associate with that place maybe if you chose a favorite place maybe you ate something there or I don't know again if I'm at the beach and if I go into the water I feel that salty taste of the water so you know where you are Just keep breathing. And now just enjoy the place. You're there with all your senses. All your senses are activated. So just keep breathing, keep inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Keep feeling that place. So very slowly and gently, let's start traveling back to your chair. Keep your eyes closed. Start deepening up your breath. So inhale deeply and exhale it all out through your mouth. And again, inhale deeply exhale all out through your mouth and the last time inhale deeply exhale all out very nice so very gently whenever you're ready open up your eyes gently so this is a really beautiful form of walking meditation and you know, it's, it's really nice if you're, you know, in a trail, like anywhere, like, it's like, I don't know, like, it's, it's really nice. So any place you are, you start just walking, you know, and focus on your breath, just, you know, connecting with your breath. And then slowly by, you know, one by one, you focus on the different senses. So you look at things and you point at the things and then you listen to things and then you smell and then you touch. Uh, and you don't need to touch. Maybe, you know, you can imagine if you want, you can touch, it's up to you. And you make it, you know, as long as you want. And, um, you know, the, the, the exercise, what comes with the practice is like really being able to focus on this, to really work on what you are doing as you continue safely walking. And it's really good. It's, it's, it's really nice. So whenever you have an opportunity, you know, try to practice this in the, you know, somewhere outdoors, that's not freezing. Um, so we are the chair. So make sure you're using half of the chair. You're, you know, a little bit out. Legs are on a 90 degree angle. My feet are right under my knees. My shoulders are right over my head. And from here, just for one second, bring your hands to your lap. Stay really tall. Once again, inhale deeply, inhale into your chest. Exhale all out through your nose. And again, inhale deeply into your chest. Exhale all out. And the last time, inhale and exhale, excellent. So we're gonna grab the chair with the right hand. Stay tall, engage your core, bring the left arm up. 
Inhale here. Exhale and take it to the right side. So make sure both hips are evenly in the chair. Look up a little bit to open it up. Keep reaching with that arm. We want to find length. So you want to feel the stretch. It should be a nice stretch on your left side. Keep reaching. Very gently come back center. So now with your left hand, grab the chair. Bring the right arm up. Engage your core. Inhale, let's take it to the left. Look up. Very nice. And one more time. Inhale in the exhale. Very gently come back center. Let's bring both hands to our knees. So we're gonna start with cat cow, the shy one, the one where we keep our arms right here. So we're gonna inhale, roll your shoulders to the back, open up the chest, arch your spine, stick your sacrum out. Exhale for cat chin to chest, navel to spine. And again, inhale to open. Exhale out. And the last time, inhale here, and exhale. Very nice, come back center. We're gonna bring the left hand to the center of the right leg, right hand in the center of the chair, right behind me. Lengthen the spine, engage your core. Inhale, twist to the right. Stay tall, engage, legs are strong. You make your entire body work here. Keep breathing. And one more time, inhale in the exhale, very gently. We're coming back to the center. Now we're gonna bring the right hand in the center of the left hand, left, left hand in the back of the chair, lengthen your spine, engage your core, inhale, twist to the left. Hold it here. And this also should feel nice. Very gently come back center, excellent. So I'm gonna bring my left hand to the center of the right leg. My right arm comes up. Engage your core very gently, lean to the left. So we are combining, you know, the last, well, two, because in between we did cat cow, but the twisting and the side stretching. Very gently come back center, right hand in the center of the left leg. Left arm comes up, inhale, take it to the right side. Look at the ceiling to open it up. Beautiful and very gently come back center, excellent. So. Stay tall. Let's start rolling our shoulders to the back. So we have on our shoulders all the stress of this very strange holidays, very different holiday season, and very different for each person. So let's bring our shoulders forward. Keep breathing, keep staying tall, and relax. Bring both hands to your shoulders. Let's start drawing big, big circles with our elbows. Keep tall. Good, and let's go opposite direction. Keep the breath going in a nice flow. Excellent. Staying tall, bring the elbows to the side of your torso. Hands are still on my shoulders. Inhale, bring those elbows up. Exhale, down, push your elbows into your rib cage. And again, inhale, up. Exhale, down, push into your ribs. And the last one. Inhale, here. Exhale, push into your ribs. Excellent. So from here, we're going to bring the elbows forward. Exhale, bring them all the way to the back. Shoulder blades are almost touching. 
Inhale up. Exhale all the way to the back. And the last time. Inhale up. Exhale all the way to the back. Excellent. Very, very nice. So we're going to go down to our hips. So stay tall. Check your form, your alignment. We're going to start bringing the right leg out. So you're facing forward. So we're gonna inhale out, exhale back in. And it coming, it's opening from the hips. So remember, we are not doing that. And again, inhale out, exhale here. One more time. Inhale out, exhale back here. And now we're gonna inhale out, keep it there. So we have never bigger than the 90 degrees. So it could be a 45, you know, whatever angle your two legs are, you know, forming, we are facing forward. We're gonna bring the left hand to the left side of your body, bring the right arm up, lean a little bit to the left, but you're pushing with your hips into the chair. So both legs are really engaged, really working here to keep your balance, to keep the stretch safe and very gently come back center. Very nice. Now we're gonna extend the right leg. So stay tall, belly in. Let's inhale out and exhale. So again, if you're here, this is beautiful. Inhale out, exhale. And again, inhale out, exhale. Last one, inhale out. Exhale, so now we're gonna bring the leg out. Doesn't matter where the leg is, as long as, even if it's just a tiny bit open, stay tall in the center, really engage those legs. Bring your left hand to the left side of the body, right arms come up. It's a tiny, tiny, we're leaning just a little bit to the left. Feel the stretch. So it's different that when we have both legs together in the center, this time, like you feel the stretch, you know, starting to you stretch a little bit your psoas muscle and all the muscles that are in the hip. And gently come back center, bring the leg back to a 90 degree angle. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So stay tall, checking your alignment. And let's go. Inhale, up, exhale. Inhale through your nose, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time. So this time, leave it right here. Really, both legs are activated. We are facing forward. Bring the right hand to the right side of your body. Left arm comes up, just a tiny lean to the right. Always looking at the ceiling to open it up. Keep engaging those legs and very gently come back to the center. So this stretch, you're like also doing some strength because you need to keep yourself, you know, engaged so you're not, you know, going places. So we're gonna extend this time, the left leg. So inhale out and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Excellent. So bring it out. Right hand to the right side of my waist. Bring the left arm up very gently. Tiny lean to the right. Both legs are active and strong. Keep engaging that core. And very, very gently come back center. Bring the leg to the side. Shake it up. Very nice. So we're going to keep stretching the entire body. So we're going to extend opposite arm and leg. So when I'm here, like open it up, open up your chest, arch your back a little bit. So, you know, again, I'm sitting towards the edge of the chair. Make sure you're safe. So we're going to start right arm and left leg in the inhale, reach, 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 reach. Exhale, back center. We are switching. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Reach, 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 reach. Exhale, back center. Let's switch again. Inhale and reach. Exhale. And the last time. 
Inhale here and exhale. Excellent. Very nice. Excellent work. So bring both arms extended. Palms are touching. Make sure you don't have anything, you know, on your way, walls, furniture, another person. So stay tall, engage your core from here. We're gonna inhale, open up your arms, open up your chest. Shoulder blades are almost touching. Inhale, bring both to the center. Hands are touching. Look at me and listen because this is different. From my belly, I'm gonna bring both hands together to the right. Exhale, back center. Inhale, both arms together to the left. Inhale, exhale, back center. Inhale to the right. Exhale, center, one more time. Inhale to the left. Exhale, back center, one more time. Both arms open up. Open up your heart, open up your chest. Exhale, both arms come together. Hands to heart center. Very nice. So when we were twisting here, like when we do this, like there is more freedom in all our torso. Here, we are not opening up. So we have to activate this a little bit more. Like you feel it a little bit more if you really engage your core. So that's what's, you know, a little bit different. So make sure your feet are right under your knees. Stay tall, like arch a little bit your lumbar spine. So stick your tush a tiny bit out and let's start going on a tippy toes, bringing the heels up, really engaging the calves. Feel it all the way to your quads. Like let's make those legs work. Keep inhaling and exhaling as you go. We need strong legs and our poor legs are not as strong as they were. What is it, nine months ago? I think. Good. So now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna inhale, toes up. Exhale, push with your toes and bring the heels up. So again, heels to the floor, toes up. Push with your toes, bring the heels up. Engage the entire leg. Push with your heels, toes up. Exhale, push with your toes, heels up. One more time, inhale, toes up. Exhale. Exhale and reach up. Excellent job, very nice. So we're gonna bring the right knee to the chest. Stay tall, so remember if you cannot do it here, you can do it here, or you can always do it at the edge of the chair. Just check your alignment, make sure you're staying tall, make sure you're engaging your core. Let's start making circles with a right foot. Keep the breath going. And let's go opposite direction. Good. Flex and extend the foot. Good. And very gently bring the leg back to the floor. Now we're going with the left. So stay tall here. Engage your core. My arms are extended, and let's make circles, one direction. Opposite direction now. And let's flex and extend the foot. Beautiful. And very gently bring it down. And now we're gonna come up off the chair. So let's bring the chair to the side. And we're gonna start doing very similar things that what we just did on the chair, but having all the weight on our feet. So if you need support, stay close to a wall or to a piece of furniture that's safe. So feet are parallel, stay tall. Like stack your bones together, like, you know, make sure your shoulders are over your head, head is in the center. And from here, let's go up. So make sure when you go on your tippy toes, you don't do this. Like many people go forward. I need you to go up. 
Like if it's, it's like somebody's pulling you right, you know, from here. Imagine the center, like go back to physics and imagine where is the center if we put a pendulum, you know, where will be the center of your weight? So come all the way up. Activate your legs, your glutes, your core. Let's make all those muscles work. Keep going up and down with your breath. Excellent. So from here, just going to go on your heels, bring the toes back, and then push the toes, spread them, and push them into the floor. Back again, go to your heels, bring those toes back into the floor. One more time, go to your heels, lift your toes, and then push those toes back. And the last time, inhale up and exhale. Excellent. So just to work a tiny bit of balance, please use, you know, whatever you need to use for safety. Stay tall, the body is perfectly aligned, engage in your core. Just bring all the weight to the right leg, extend the left. So inhale here and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. And the last time. Inhale. In the exhale, gently bring the left leg back to the center. So let's go back to check our alignment. So bring all the way to the left and let's extend the right leg. Inhale here and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale, and the last time. Inhale in the exhale, gently come back center. So let's just shake, you know, our knees a little bit. Shake your hands, very good. So options here. We can do, uh, we're gonna go to a warrior two. And from there, do you know a few moves? So you can very well do it from the chair, or you can stand up, or you can do it from the chair, from the floor, using the chair or a piece of furniture for support. So you decide where you are. We're gonna start bringing the right foot forward. We're gonna bend the right knee. I'm gonna show you in a little bit from the chair, just in case if you don't remember. If you're standing up, the left leg is extended and the left foot is on a 45 degree angle. Once again, let's go back to physics. My weight, it's right here. I'm not here nor there. I'm right here in the center. So you decide where you wanna bend this knee. Make sure you're not going forward here. So you can, you know, use a piece of furniture to be here or extend your arms. This is the pose that we're gonna be holding if you're standing up. And if you're in the chair, we are right here. So anywhere you are, let's start holding it, engaging our muscles here. And we're gonna inhale here and exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale, and the last time. Inhale, in the exhale, anywhere you are, bring your fore, right forearm to your right thigh. Bring your weight forward and bring your left arm over your body, look up. Here again, you can use a piece of furniture instead of putting you know, the arm here or the wall. And one more time, inhale. We're gonna make those legs really strong to come back to a warrior two. Hold it here, keep breathing. Inhale one more time. In the exhale, extend both legs. If you're seated, you're right here. So the leg is not fully extended, but it's not right here. So from here with both arms, Start going forward. And when you cannot go anymore, bring the arm. If you're in the chair to your forearm, if you're up in the floor, you can bring it somewhere to your leg. We're gonna do a small triangle pose here. Very nice. And one more time, inhale, strong legs to come back. 
and we gonna heel to our feet together. Very nice. If you're in the chair, go back to the center and we are going to the other side. If you are standing up, we are going now with the left foot. So we are bending the left leg, extending the right. My right foot is on a 45 degree angle. Remember the weight is in the center. Sacrum is in, belly is in. From here, bring those long arms from the chair or the floor, doesn't matter. The same benefits. You're strong warriors here. Keep breathing. And one more time, inhale in the exhale, bring the left forearm to the thigh. Bring the right arm up. Look up. Very nice. One more time, inhale, engage those legs. Come up to a warrior two, excellent, very nice. So from here, we are extending the leg, the left leg. We're gonna start going forward. Good, if you're in the chair, try to, you know, don't bend it so much. And in the chair, you go to the forearms. In the floor, you go somewhere to your leg. Open it up here. Very nice. One more time, inhale. In the exhale, we're coming up and very slowly and gently heel toe your feet together. So let's shake that up. Very good. So bring your shoulders to the back. So if you went to the chair for the warrior, if you don't mind, come back up if you want. So this time, I am bringing my arms together right here. Make sure you don't have anything on your way. From here, we're gonna inhale, open up both arms, open up your chest, exhale, arms together. Inhale, open it up to the right. Exhale, back center. Inhale, open it up to the left. Exhale, back center, one more time. Inhale, open up in the center. Again to the right. Inhale up, you're using the core. Exhale, back center. Inhale to the left. Come back center, both arms together. Inhale, open up. Exhale, gently come back center. Hands to your heart. Arms to the side for Tadasana. Very nice. So we're gonna try to do and standing up, very mini back bend. Back bends are really like we need to do both. You know that's why like a cat cow. But we're gonna you know work on the cow part um, here. So I want you to just bring your hands right to where uh, your your pelvis bones and right here to the side. So right underneath your waist. So elbows are to the back, pointing to the back. You stay tall. So very slowly you're bringing your hips forward. Open up your chest. And just do a very, very, very tiny back there. So I don't know where my hair is. So we are right here. So keep opening up by keep pushing with those hips forward. So you do it as small as you need or as big as you want. Like if you, this is something you do, you can go a tiny bit forward. If this is something new, stay right here. And one more time, inhale. In the exhale, gently come back center. Bring both hands to your thighs. Arch your back like in cow pose and keep breathing here. So I have a tiny, tiny squat, arching my back, chin to chest, and gently come back center. Excellent. So I'm moving my chair and we're going to start bringing some, you know, warm to the body. So again, I'm showing this from the side that I want to show it the other way, feet are parallel, hip distance apart. And we're gonna start slowly, we did this last week. We inhale, arms up, exhale up to the back with a tiny squat. 
Inhale, up and exhale. Follow with your gaze, your hands. And you know, you start slowly and you decide if you wanna go lower, if you get really small here, always keep up with the breath. No need to go super fast here. So the entire body is working. Even our heart is working here. This is the closest we can get to cardio in a yoga class. So this is great for the winter. We are really warming up the body here. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. And the last time. Very nice. Excellent work. We are going back to the chair. Have some water if you need before we go down to the chair, back to the chair. And once we are back here, make sure you're tall. Check your alignment. Very nice. So we're going to start doing some core work. We're going to bring our fingertips to the side of our head. So don't grab your head. They are just resting here. Fingertips are just resting here. Legs are on a 90 degree angle. Stay tall, engage your core. Inhale here, exhale, right elbow to the right side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale in the center, exhale down, back here. Inhale. Exhale, and the last time. Inhale, and exhale, beautiful. So now we are right back in the center. We're gonna to go to the other side. So inhale here, exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more time. Inhale, exhale, we have two more. Inhale, exhale, and the last time. Inhale, and exhale here. Very nice. So now we're going to work a little bit our obliques. So all your right fingertips are going to be resting here. Sit tall, really open up this part. So we're really extending all the obliques right here when we open. So inhale here, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to open, exhale, elbow to knee, very slowly. Inhale to open, exhale, elbow to knee. Two more, inhale to open, exhale, elbow to knee. The last time, inhale to open, exhale, elbow to knee, very nice. Left fingertips, resting on the side of the head. Please don't do this. Like the head is not being part of the exercise. So fingertips are only resting here. So this time it's right knee to the left elbow. So inhale and open, exhale, left elbow to right knee. Inhale to open, exhale, right elbow. To, no, left elbow to right knee. Exhale here. One more time, inhale to open, exhale, left elbow to right knee. Excellent work, very nice. So we're gonna do right here a bit, cap, cap, to really work the spine. So once again, make sure now that we move the chair that you have all the space that you need. So from here, inhale with both arms extended, open up the chest. For cow, exhale, chin to chest, navel to spine, hug yourself, work out. And one second, inhale to open. And exhale out. Two more times, inhale and open. Exhale, and the last time. Inhale to open and exhale out. Excellent work, very nice. So sit tall with the left hand. We're going, we are continuing, you know, working with our obliques and the rest of our abdominal muscles. With the left hand, we're going to grab the right knee on the side right here. So stay tall. 
in the center, engaging the core, bring the right arm to the side, left leg is strong, firm in the floor, inhale here, exhale, open it up to the right, bring the arm back, inhale here, exhale, open it up, and go back to the center, one more time, inhale here, exhale, when you open it up, Bring it back, center gently, bring the right leg to the floor. Right hand, grabbing the back of the knee of the left leg. Stay tall, engage your core. Left arm is forward. Inhale here, exhale to open up. Do this from your belly, remember. Inhale here, exhale to open it up. One more time. Come forward, inhale here, exhale to open it up. Very nice, gently come back center. Excellent work. So we're gonna bring our feet to up separated, just you know, a tiny bit wider than the chair, not that much, but they are parallel. Bring your hands to your knees. Start tall, stick your tush out, so arch your lumbar spine a little bit, always engaging the core. So from here, bring your chin to your chest. Don't go anywhere else. Just relax the head and keep breathing. So very, very gently and slowly, start curling down your back, going vertebra by vertebra, very slow. You can stay here relaxing your head, or if you want, you can bring your forearms to your thighs. Just relax your head. If you're good here and you feel you can reach a block or the floor and you're safe in the chair, do that and keep relaxing that head. Anywhere you are, just breathe and feel the stretch in your neck, in your shoulders, how the weight of your head is stretching and separating and creating some space. Very gently, everybody bring your arms to your knees. We're gonna start coming up vertebra by vertebra, starting from the sacrum. Bring your hands to your knees now. Start with the lumbar spine, thoracic spine. You're coming up all the way, cervical spine. The last thing that comes up, it's your head. Very nice. And we're gonna bring the legs together. Bring your left hand to the center of the right leg. Right hand is right here in the center of the chair. Really lengthen the spine, stay really tall. Legs are really strong as well. Engage your core first, so bring that belly to your spine. Twist from the belly, like really only use your belly. My hands are not doing the job. They are just here. Stay tall, keep breathing. And very gently relax and come back center now. Right hand in the center of the left leg. Left hand, it's in the center of the chair. Lengthen the spine. Really engage the core. Inhale, bring it to the left. Keep breathing. And very gently come back center. Excellent, very nice. So we're gonna extend the right leg. We're gonna extend the left arm. The left leg is on a 90 degree angle. You can grab the chair if you need to, or you can stay here. So look at me first. This is what we are doing under control. Like it's not like a cardio move. We're in yoga this time. So I don't mind if you use the chair to keep safe. This leg needs to be really strong. So we're gonna inhale here, open up, exhale, hand to foot. 
Inhale to open. Exhale, hand to foot. One more time. Inhale and open. Exhale, hand to foot. And the last time. Inhale to open. Exhale, hand to foot. Very nice. Let's go back to the center. And now we are switching. So we're going to extend the left leg. If you want with the left hand, you can grab the chair. You don't have to. Right leg, it's really strong. Bring the right arm up. So we're going to inhale and extend. Exhale, hand to foot. One second. Inhale to extend. Exhale, hand to foot. And one more time. Inhale to extend. Exhale here. I think we have one more. Inhale to open. Exhale, hand to foot. Very gently come back center. Excellent. Very nice. So we're really working our core today. So we're going to go to a boat pose. I'm turning around. You don't have to. So I'm at the edge of the chair. Just look for now. So you can just bring your tippy toes here. Engage your core, lean back, and this could be your perfect boat, which is great. From here, you can one at a time bring the legs at the knees up, or you can do it right here with both or right here, anywhere you want to do. We need to keep our lumbar safe. So that's why the way to do it, it's like really bringing your belly to your spine to keep this area really engaged keep breathing and there is no need to push yourself if this is good stay here and that is perfect okay so let's all get ready so we go with our tippy toes lean back belly to spine bring your arms forward and you decide where you're staying anywhere we are we're gonna breathe three times so inhale and exhale, keep lengthening your spine. Inhale, and exhale, and one more time. Inhale, in the exhale, gently bring your toes to the floor, bring your heels, start bringing your entire body forward. Bring your arm, forearms to your legs, and relax your head. And very gently, we are going back to the center. Excellent, very nice. So we're gonna try to do from the chair, a tiny back bend. So grab the chair from the side, stay tall at the edge. And we're gonna start like rolling the shoulders, open up your chest, hold it right here. Keep breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. Very nice. And one more time. Inhale. In the exhale, very gently come back center. Excellent work. So let's work a tiny bit with our neck. So stay tall. Engage your core. Let's bring the chin to the chest. Relax your head. Just feel the weight of your head stretching your neck and your shoulders. Keep breathing here. So from here, very gently, inhale, bring the chin up. Just past the center, one inch. Exhale, chin to chest. And one more time. Inhale, bring the head up. Exhale, chin the chest. And the last time. Inhale, up. Exhale, chin the chest. Excellent. Bring the head to the center. And just look to the right. Go back center. Look to your left. Center, one more time. To the right, center, and to the left. Very nice. So let's just roll our shoulders one more time. To the back, 
Let's bring them forward one more time. Let's bring the right knee to chest and move a little bit to the spine and let's switch one more time and we're gonna get ready for shavasana so you decide if you want to use the blocks or not just sit on the chair this time you can relax your body that's why i say if you want you can use the blocks very gently close your eyes and go back to your breath Just follow your breath. Just relax. Appreciate your body and all that your body was able to do just now. everybody one way or another for some people it's worse than for others but everybody's life were touched and affected and one of the things that we all have in common is like before we had to do our work do the dishes do the laundry pay our bills uh, take care of the house, like, you know, whatever we had to do, but we also had the opportunity to see our family and see our friends and have parties and go out and have concerts or go to a restaurant or go to the movies. So there was some balance between the things that we had to do in life to keep going, um, you know, like kind of like the obligations so our responsibilities that sometimes they are okay and sometimes they become tedious but we still do them because we know that something good is really coming like we know that okay i'll do the dishes but then i'm gonna meet with my friends and i'm gonna go out or you know i have to do the laundry but my you know nephews and nieces and grandkids or whatever are coming and you know, I'll pay my bills and then I'm going to a concert or to, you know, the movies. Now we don't have all that. And it's really heavy to go through life just doing all the things that we must do, like doing the dishes, making the bed, doing the laundry, paying our bills, cleaning the house. So, there is not so much of the other stuff anymore. So we need to create that. We need to recreate that, uh, you know, the things that make life believable. <laughs> I don't know how you say it in English, but the things that make this life more enjoyable, even though we are going through losses and, you know, difficult times, 
we must continue finding spaces where there is some pleasure, some enjoyment, some happiness, some love. If not, life becomes just heavy and it's not it's not fun anymore. So let's try to, you know, work on that. Um, you know, how we can provide for ourselves, you know, those spaces of, you know, enjoyment. So very gently, very slowly, start moving your fingertips, move your fingers, move your hands, move your toes and your feet. Very gently roll your shoulders to the back. Good, reach out for the ceiling, get like a nice stretch as if it was like early in the morning. So really, really stretch. Bring both hands to your heart center. Thank you so, so much for practicing with me. Thank you for all your support all this time. Thank you for the trust. Happy, happy and safe holidays. Stay strong and healthy. Thank you. Namaste. So thank you. Thank you, everybody.